All right, today we're going to be going over a special play that we developed on Fortress Offense towards the end of the season. Uh, you could probably actually try it out in Ranked if you're still playing it on, on MW2. Uh, but this is a, a cool, fun little play that we had. Uh, we only got to try it out once, and it was at the Major 5 Qualifiers versus Florida, uh, an online match. And uh, it was kind of a botch round because there was a team kill right at the start for Florida. Uh, but I'll take you through it. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to use it later on. Maybe if we played at Champs, uh, we would have brought it out, but uh, it was a nice little play here. So what happens here is instead of Kyler taking the bomb or Dan taking the bomb, uh, we had Ant taking the bomb and he was gonna go sit towards uh, this cannon here at P1. And while he was doing that, uh, him and number five, which was, was Dan at the time, uh, they were just gonna be holding any type of P1 push in case there was a quick P1 push out of Florida or out of anyone who we were playing. And number seven and number eight, we're gonna work together to try and get Kyler, who was our main bomb carrier, try and get him into the A site um, and just stay here and kind of like lurk towards here. Um, and once, you know, Brandon was actually able to get him towards the site uh, without any contestion, he was gonna wrap back and help these guys towards P1. So uh, as you can see, as we play the round out, Florida, they have a default setup, but they actually end up team killing uh, Capsule uh, with a nade who is holding these closed steps. And this is just, you know, from this, it's it's really weird because anything can happen at this point. And, you know, this, this play could have not worked out. I personally think in this situation, we still would have won the round anyways, based on what we were doing, uh, because they didn't have anyone really contesting it anyways. Um, all they had was, you know, number four is watching this cross uh, into the site. But he was the bait, you know, Kyler was the bait in this situation because we were, what we were going to do was we were going to bang out P1 late, you know, basically capitalizing off of the assumption that, you know, every team was going to be going towards A, whether it was early or whether it was late, no one was going towards B, you know, you'd see probably 1% of the time teams would hit out B and it would be a quick, you know, quick bang out right at the start of the round. So here was more of a little slower, uh, more methodical approach where we were gonna have one guy play Lurker here and he could lay dot activate off of any uh, plays that we were gonna be making P1. So as you can see, Brandon gets him to the site for free and he's now gonna work out with the P1 players over here. And uh, actually, unfortunately, I think in this round, Ant gets hit by a stun here um, while he's on the cannon. So, you know, ideal situation, don't get hit the, by the stun. I think he didn't think that he would be able to get hit from his position where he was at. He someone threw it from P5 over there. So, you know, ideally you don't get hit by the stun because you don't want them to assume that you have people this close to P1. So as you can see, we get Kyler out onto the site and he's just playing this in-between area that was super helpful for hardpoint actually too, if you're holding the, the site because you're not expecting to be this close, uh, especially if they're on offense. So what he can do is he can just wait and make a play off of anything that we were gonna do P1. So uh, actually Ant hops onto the top of the truck here. He's just scouting out and then they're all gonna bang out together. From this, Florida can see that we're hitting out P1. They probably see one or two players now. From that, Kyler activates off this play, gets this kill here. Ideally, uh, Ant would just push through into the B site, try and take this B site with these two other players with him. Uh, but he actually goes into maps and gets a kill here. If he dies there with bomb, it's not you know the best play. Uh, so in my opinion, he probably should have just went through the gate and gone onto the site, worked with the number five and number eight to actually get the bomb down. But the main play here is this late activator lurker Kyler here. So you know technically, what we could have done was let's say there was still four people on the map for Florida. You know he is still able to get this play off because the last player would have probably been maps or closed stairs. He's still able to get this kill on number four because number three's detention's over here. And number two, I believe is playing bottom art or, or top, uh, top art, whatever, it doesn't really matter. He's out of the play at this situation because we have the three guys, P1 and the late activator. So nice little fake out play uh, that you can probably use with your friends in rank play if you're still playing it. But uh, I don't know, I just wanted to bring out because we didn't really get to test it out too much. Uh, since it was only used one time here in the qualifiers and uh, it was kind of botched with the team kill. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.